Hey everyone, it's Audrey from Mom Generation. So I am sitting here with Victoria, who has the hiccups. You have the hiccups, little Lammy? Huh? So I've been updating everybody on our hemangioma, I guess, kind of journey, just from the beginning of when um, we found out that obviously had one, I had mentioned it, and then going to two different doctors, two different specialists to try to get some answers. But um, a couple days ago, which was very scary to me because I know um, other moms who have children who have hemangiomas have told me that it is possible that they that they bleed. Like if your you know child scratches it, or um, you know the skin can become very thin, and uh, you know maybe even like resistance on on fabric or something like that. So um, I was actually at an event, one of my um, my Tommy Tippy events in Rhode Island, and Victoria here. Let me take a little bow off, and I kind of just looked down, and all of a sudden I just saw blood. Um, just going right down her face from the from the bottom of her hemangioma, and you know, as a mom, your heart stops immediately because I didn't know what was going on. You know, this it was the first time it had happened. Um, a, a very tiny, tiny, tiny little like almost like cut. Um, I don't really I don't cut her nails often enough. I get very nervous to do it, but I learned my lesson. It looks like she just scratched it really quick. So um, I had called um, our, our actual our doctor up and also the specialist in Boston had told us this as well. And so I kind of wanted to put it out there to um, my audience. You know, what, the thing that the doctors both said to prevent that from happening, number one, always try to keep her nails cut. You know, keep them short. That's something that I do, but I always can't um, make sure that she's not going to obviously itch or scratch her, her head, which sometimes would be her, her mangioma. So they had suggested getting thick headbands, much like how this is thick right here, um, pretty much like five centimeters long, which is pretty much how big Victoria's um, hemangioma is, and or hats, and having her wear hats or um, headbands to protect the area. Are you wearing your little headbands? Which, listen, I was fine with, you know, I mean, obviously we have a little girl, so I can put her in headbands with bows, and believe me, because she is our first girl after all these boys, you know, she usually always has a bow on her head anyway, but they had suggested thicker headbands to really cover the area, and then also hats, but, and, but also before you put everything on, put a lot of aquaphor on so that they won't be resistant against the material. So I kind of just wanted to toss it out there to, um, to you know, any of my readers, if you happen to know where you could get some really thick headbands, I'm searched Etsy. They do have some. A lot of them meant for older kids. Um, I mean, they really do have to be, you know, not 100% not thick to completely cover the area, but thick enough where it's also like um, a comfortable material, like a cotton or something. Um, I had bought some ribbons um, the other day, and you could tell she just did not like the material. So, this is my first time being a, being a mom of a girl. I don't know the best spots to get headbands and bows. This is all new to me completely, so I just love some suggestions. You know, I have hit... Target in the children's place in the gap and um, a very good friend of ours went to Burlington Coat Factory and gotten some. Um, I looked at TJ Maxx. I've, I've looked everywhere. Um, I don't know if maybe there's other spots that somebody could recommend I check out too. I, I will put her in headbands every single day if it will mean that, you know, prevent her from scratching it and um, not having a bleed again. That really scared me. So definitely send some suggestions. Right, V? Right, Vivi? Huh? Right? <laughs> 